Hello everyone, today I have decided to make a short video for the Sinclair Sovereign calculator from 1976 because I want to dedicate this uh, little video to the uh, Sinclair aesthetics. Uh, back in the day that was Sinclair Radionics and uh, yeah, Sir Clive came up uh, with uh, his famous uh, designs for the Sinclair calculators back in 1972 with the executive uh, followed by Cambridge model 1973 the scientific back in 74 the Oxford uh, came along in 1975 this one the Sovereign uh, 1976 he came then up with uh, this uh, wristwatch calculator idea back in 77 the enterprise and the president followed in 1978 um, and then as you probably know uh, moved to uh, home computers for the most part um, yeah let's open it up um, this is something I recently acquired again from eBay um, this is a nice case um, yeah, they, the, as you can see, this is a fantastic uh, design. This is a very nice little um, piece of uh, hardware. A very nice sleek uh, design. And um, just to give the credit, it was John Pemberton, uh, the man responsible for these sleek lines and the whole uh, idea uh, actually managed to get a 1977 Design Council award for this um, the machine uh, uh, has been a gift to every participant um, in the United States uh, by Time magazine back in 77 to all the participants they were so lucky to get this gift um, back in New York City that day and uh, of course it is made in England uh, those were the days uh, when uh, yeah uh, calculators computers uh, were still made in England um, that is the compartment for the batteries um, actually those batteries uh, have been the button type uh, but uh, they are similar batteries uh, nowadays you can find out in the market so you can make it work again this little um, pouch here uh, to carry it along with you and there are several uh, documents this card here let's see what that is it has the uh, yeah, the Sinclair Radionics address and let's flip it on the other side see what it is actually we need to, sh to send it back yeah it's a calculator ownership survey your personal data and you have to uh, you had to post it back to the um, company that was uh, the only way to do it back then no emails or attachments or anything and the operating instructions leaflet on the side um, pretty uh, beautiful and slim even that is even that looks so good so you can see uh, general information on the first side the important thing is to remember the type of batteries uh, so it it was uh, yeah RM 625N or either that or Barta 7002 um, yeah the machine was um, power hungry if I may say that the uh, CPU um, or the brain that it was based upon was the Mostec MK uh, 5032N um, yeah Mostec if I remember this right it was uh, on the side of Texas Instruments 
back in the 70s so quite a nice um, machine a nice uh, device from the past significantly um, improved the um, popularity uh, for Sinclair products back then um, this is something that actually Sir Clive always had in, in his in mind uh, I can see some corrosion here but I cleaned it up later and tried to fix it um, yeah Sir Clive always insisted and uh, was always pursuing um, elegance and functionality uh, functionality <laughs> in many cases didn't work but uh, I can tell that uh, elegance uh, was uh, something that uh, he achieved not just with this machine but also with other machines uh, you can remember uh, at least uh, one of my favorites is the Sinclair QL later on but earlier also the ZX81 which was an amazing machine um, okay I'm not gonna uh, put the batteries uh, inside yet today I think I'm yeah I just wanted to present this to you guys I have to thoroughly clean it and make sure the contacts are okay um, and the batteries are still working because they have been used over some demo so thanks for watching um, probably I, I should catch you with another video over this uh, consider subscribing I'll be catching you soon bye